<clears throat> so Mount Zion, um, and to the police, and to the judge, and to whoever's watching this, I know my last videos have seemed a little crass, a little bit, not, maybe not a little bit, but a little vulgar, a little bit, um, um, you know, uncouth. You know, pastors are not used to be called assholes and cocksuckers and dickheads and, and fuckwads. But you know what? They need to be used to it because if, if you're that, then, yeah, I tell people all the time. If I'm ever a dick, say, Jimmy, stop being a dick. I love to be rebuked. I love when people tell me I'm wrong because then I can make it right. I'm writing a book about righteousness. Always do the right thing, say the right thing, think the right thing, go to the right places, put your kids in the right college, hang out with the right friends. If you're gonna drink, drink the right amount. Don't drink too much. If, don't, just always try to do the right thing and be listen when people say, dude, you're wrong. See, that's your warning system. That's, I mean, God says, listen to instruction and correction. Otherwise, you are a fool. Otherwise, you are stupid. I tried to instruct and correct this asshole several times. He won't listen because he's so prideful that he doesn't think he's wrong. Well, hey, Pastor Keith, you're so wrong. It blows my mind. First, you preach a lot of heresy. You preach that if you say the sinner's prayer, you're going to heaven. That's not in the Bible. You preach that husbands and wives will not be together in heaven. That's not in the Bible. You misinterpreted the number one. There is no given or taken in marriage in heaven. You guys erase husband and wife, bride and groom, erotic love, procreation. You erased everything because you misinterpreted one scripture. What did Jesus say? You don't know the holy scriptures or the power of God. I have more testimonies of the power of God in my life than I think. I don't know anybody. I mean, I am just blessed that God has always done huge, powerful things in my life. And I do know the power of God, and I have memorized hundreds of scriptures. Paraphrase, you don't know the Holy Scriptures or the power of God. Of course, husbands and wives are together. Of course, your grandparents are hugging and kissing, living in their mansion. Of course, you're going to go to your mom and dad's house and they are in love and they're hugging and kissing. The man looks like a man. The woman looks like a man. They look like angels. Have you ever seen an angel without breasts or a man? <clears throat> I mean, I don't need to go into it, but you guys messed up on the biggest scripture. The Bible says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, went into the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my father, which is in heaven. Hey, Keith, was it God's will for you to turn me into an inside-out rat and roast me and slander me and judge me and condemn me? Was that God's will? It was not. You were in line with Satan. And I'm telling you, I'm, I, you need to repent. You need to repent. You need to call me, which I don't think you will because you're not a man. You're a mouse, in my opinion. I mean, a man says, you know what? I was wrong. I'm sorry. I can't imagine Keith doing that. He's, man, you're such a fucking pussy, man. I'm telling you. I hope one day we meet each other in Haiti where there are no laws against battering because I'm going to batter the fuck out of you in Haiti, not in America. By the way, I know the law. I'm not allowed to say that, you know, in America. But, man, I'm telling you, you need to get out of the church. You need to, you need to get a job freaking fishing, get a job doing concrete work. You're not a pastor. You're not a pastor. You're, you're a fake pastor. You're an asshole. You treat people like shit. And I've interviewed several people since my videos. You ever been to Zion? Yeah, why? I'm gonna start videoing the bad reviews because there are, I just barely scratched the surface. There's hundreds of them, hundreds. Hundreds of people that you have hurt. Hundreds of people that you have abused. Hundreds of people that you have judged. Hundreds. And you wonder why your church is so tiny in size of members? <clears throat> Keith, get the fuck out of the pulpit, you stupid fuck. Let me preach. I'll preach the righteous way. Love people. Don't judge them. When someone invents something, say, good for you, bro. I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's right. You got to have that in your heart before you can do it. You can't fake it. 
when you hear something, somebody's been robbed of 80 grand, man, I am so sorry to hear that. What can I do to help you? Don't ask a Christian to say those words. What can I do to help you? Read my book. Ask a Christian for a favor, no. Ask a Christian for a dollar, no. Ask a Christian for a rye, no. Ask a Christian for anything. The answer is always no. Sometimes they'll say, I'll pray about it, lie, and then they never call you back, which implies either God doesn't want them to answer, to, to do your favor, or God just doesn't hear them. Ladder, <laughs> the ladder, okay? I mean, do you have testimonies, Keith, of hearing the Holy Spirit speak to you? and their souls being saved, and it's huge things. I have hundreds of them, hundreds of huge testimonies. Call Dr. Buddy Moore, a director, uh, executive director, Cedar Rescue Mission. Ask him to verify who I am in Christ. Anyways, I'm not gonna play this anymore. So Pastor Keith, uh, we, we're, we're, we're going to impeach you. Um, the impeachment process will start as soon as um, you call the police for the empty time. I called the police yesterday. They said, if Zion calls, we're not going to do anything, Jim. It's not criminal. <coughs> it's civil. And by the way, Keith, you can't do anything civilly without a recording. Did you record the conversation? I wish I would have. You know what? I think I'm going to have my friend. Yeah, I'm not thinking. I'm going to have a few friends call you and record it and we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna entrap you <laughs> i mean it's not really entrapment what i'm telling you but i'm gonna we're gonna snicker you we're gonna fuck with you we're gonna get you on voice recording being a fucking asshole because you know when you're a fucking asshole you can't you can't hide it you can't hide it so the asshole will emerge and then i'll put all those videos on youtube and then your church is gonna disintegrate and I don't know what, what, what's going to happen to you. I, I, I hear they're hiring freaking Mickey Mouse uh, uh, guys at Disney World. I think you'd be a good Mickey Mouse guy. Get put on a suit and just shut the fuck up. All right, man. Take care, asshole. Oh, that's right. I wasn't supposed to be such a, 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 a provocative person on this video. I can't help it. You're just such a dick. Anyway, see ya.